unless you've been living under a rock, hiding in a doomsday bunker, or just living in a bubble, there is no way you've been able to avoid the chatter of the new Elgato Facecam Pro. It is a webcam that they just released that captures 4K footage, 60 frames per second, in a webcam. Absolutely amazing. And when you go on YouTube, you can scroll right on down the line and video after video is going to pretty much tell you that this is by far and away one of the best webcams, if not the best webcam you could possibly buy. So then you're all excited. You put it in the shopping cart, $300. Is any webcam worth $300? Even if the footage is that great? We're gonna go over that in today's episode of Level Up. Buddy in the Let's say this is your camera. It is the Elgato Facecam 1080p, 60 frames per second. It's done you well, but it's time for the upgrade. I want that 4K footage, 60 frames per second. If it is going to be a set it and forget it camera, I'm getting this because all I want is a good webcam for Zoom calls, conference calls, uh, picture in picture, a second camera for gaming. You want a two camera setup for your live stream. You can use the Elgato Facecam Pro or the Elgato face cam as your picture in picture box as your secondary camera there. And when it's shrunk down to that little itty bitty box, it's packed in nice and tight. So it's a nice crisp image. That person, I would say yes. Where would I say no? Ideas in your head where I wanna go outside and I wanna start creating content and other locations. That's difficult when you have the Elgato face cam or even the Elgato face cam pro, you're limited in where you can use it. Let's say there's moisture outside. Let's say it's a foggy day and you can kind of see the mist floating. You have to plug in your Elgato face cam into a laptop, a streaming device in order to capture that image, right? So I don't want my laptop out in the moisture. I don't want it out where it's been raining. I want to protect my electronics. So no, I would not get the Elgato Facecam Pro and I wouldn't recommend it for people that like to move around and create footage and capture footage at different locations. Okay, so if you're that person and you still wanna upgrade, there are plenty of options and I wanna go over two of them. The first one is this. Right now you're watching the Elgato Facecam 1080p, 60 frames per second, prime lens, prime lens directly into the laptop. But check this out. Now what you see is the GoPro Hero 7 Black hooked up to a Elgato Cam Link capture card directly to my computer. This setup right here costs less than the Elgato Face Cam Pro. You can get a GoPro Hero 7 Black for less than $200 on eBay or Facebook Marketplace. I'm looking at the wrong camera. I've been looking at the, the wrong camera the entire time. Okay, so why would I steer someone in a different direction from the Elgato Face Cam Pro towards this setup right here? for less than $300, I can get this footage that you see right now, which by the way, just taking a look at this, it is a wide shot. I can put this in 4K mode, go to super wide, and I get this wraparound image where I could make a room that's nine by 12 or 15, I don't know what size this room is, but I can make this room look bigger than it appears and more spacious. I can't get this wide shot on an Elgato face cam or the face cam pro. It doesn't go this wide. So this gives you the appearance of a premium camera with an ultra wide lens, which you're talking seven to over a thousand dollars for that setup for less than 300. Not bad, but then I can unplug this and then I can take it outside and I can capture footage with this in the rain, in the fog, because it's waterproof. So there are so many more boxes I can check by spending my money on this setup than an Elgato face cam or a face cam pro for $300. Again, I, when it comes to dollar for dollar, I think this is a much more valuable addition to your live stream podcast YouTube setup than the Elgato Facecam Pro if it's going to be your only camera. Now, for $400, you can go get a Sony a6000 with a stock lens on eBay or Facebook Marketplace, and you can get this footage. This is the Sony a6000 with the stock lens. If you have an extra $100 to spend, I would go this route over the Elgato Facecam Pro because it also checks more than one box because I can also use this as an excellent photography camera. I can take pictures of family events. I can take pictures for the church. I can take pictures for clients. I can do weddings. I can make money using this outside of my studio. Then I can bring it home, hook it up to a capture card directly to my computer, and it's my camera, an excellent camera. And it doesn't stop here. Another reason why I would steer someone in this direction over the Elgato Facecam Pro is there's room for upgrade. 
you can upgrade your lenses with this camera. So right now, this is a stock lens that comes with it at $400. But for $319, you can go get the Sigma 16 millimeter F1.4 prime lens. It's an E-mount that goes right on this. And you can upgrade your image. Boom. I mean, check this out. This is the Sony a6000 with the Sigma 16 millimeter F1.4 f-stop lens. It's a prime lens and you can get it right now on B&H for $319. Now for $700, you get this image over this image, which is your Elgato face cam. And then again, I would prefer this over the Elgato face cam pro as a purchase. If I had the money, I can get this kind of footage and I can use this to make money at events as a photographer, weddings, what have you. So let's say $700 is still too much. Like $300 is my price tag. This is a $300 setup right here. And again, it checks more boxes than the Elgato Facecam Pro can check, even though it is excellent footage. Okay, so final thoughts. The Elgato Facecam Pro, excellent webcam. And just by what I've seen on YouTube already, it is by far and away the best webcam out there. But for 300 bucks, you need to ask yourself, how do I plan to use this? What are my plans for my YouTube channel and my content creation? If I'm buying this, to set it and forget it. And I don't want to dive into that camera realm where I got to learn settings and lenses and all that other stuff, then yes, absolutely go get one. It's an amazing webcam. If you're on a budget and you're trying to maximize every dollar that you spend, I would stay away from the Elgato face cam because I want to get a camera if I'm just starting out or I'm in my early stages that can check multiple boxes for me. Go get yourself a GoPro anywhere from $200 to $350, depending on the year and the model and how new you want it to be. But you can go use that to create footage outside. If you want to continue to upgrade your equipment, I would go get yourself a Sony a6000. Now, this is very important. If you do want to buy a camera and you plan on taking it out to capture video outside of your studio, the Sony a6000 is not going to be your camera because you can't connect a third-party shotgun microphone or a wireless, like a Rode Wireless Go to your camera via 3.5 millimeter jack because there isn't one on the Sony a6000. The only external microphone that you can attach to the Sony a6000 is the Sony built mics that connect strictly via hot shoe that you can get from sony.com. So just keep that in mind if you're still thinking, I wanna get the Sony a6000. What I would recommend if you're trying to get your first camera and you're trying to decide between the Elgato Facecam Pro and a camera that you can take with you outside and capture footage, I would go GoPro Hero 7 Black or up. And I would also consider the Sony ZV-E10, which is something I just purchased. It's an excellent entry-level mirrorless camera and it takes excellent footage. I've used this for client videos already and I've got nothing but amazing compliments about the quality of the footage. It is an excellent camera for photo, live streaming, and with the Sony ZV-E10, you can hook it directly up to your computer and use it via USB-C as a 720 webcam. So again, it checks that box too, where if you get the Sony ZV-E10, you can plug that into your computer and use it as a webcam if you don't want to bother with all that and then unplug it and use it as a photography camera. Options. So many options. So again, I just wanted to throw that out there before dropping $299 on the Elgato Face Cam Pro just because it has 4K footage, 60 frames per second, and it's a webcam. Just keep in mind what it is you're doing on your YouTube channel, what you would like to be able to do, and does this check that box? Because for $300, there are other options that give you similar quality video, but check multiple boxes. Okay, so there you go. There's another episode of Level Up. Thank you for joining the channel. Don't forget to... Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to smash the like button and hit the notification bell so you guys are notified of future content when it goes up. And until then, I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Buddy, in the